can always rely on the FX, the guys who, who provide fire effects for you to, uh, to go a little bit OTT with things. So they drenched this acacia tree in petrol or something. And when it went, it certainly went. There was a huge boom. It's one of those moments there was not a lot of acting required. Like the stuntmen always look ridiculous compared to, you know what I mean? It's just, that's what, they only have to be close. Because it's always so absolutely close. They all look like very dodgy versions of us. <laughs> we try to do as much of the uh, the sequence ourselves because the stunt doubles, I mean, how can you double Dion? He's so unique. So anyone else just looks like a burst sofa. Well, I'm here today to do a bit of stunt doubling for Mr. Dion over there in the background. I think I'm far better looking than any stuntman alive. Apparently they're going to set me a light, so it should be a lot of fun. They're going to put a, some gel on um, that is obviously not very flammable, and that's going to insulate me and protect me against the heat and any burning. And um, they're going to use some pure alcohol that will burn out really quickly, and then they've got the fire extinguisher for backup just to make sure that nothing happens to this perfect skin of mine. Apparently nothing can go wrong. They said they've done this to a nine-year-old girl uh, not too long ago, and as far as I know, she's still doing well. But then again, um, yeah, we just hope it goes for the best. Huh? So if nothing can go wrong, why isn't Dion doing it? Um, that's a good question, um, but I think his insurance coverage is a little bit too high or something. That's what I've heard. You know, us adventurous stuntmen, huh? he had to do the things the actors are too scared to do. They basically just made me lie down next to him, <coughs> facing the opposite direction. And I just put my hand over him as though it was actually his arm and try to move it as though it was his arm. Because we wouldn't want these, this real talent, you know, to get hurt in the, in the line of duty. Huh? Putting his arm in front of me. <laughs> my, my head is here and his arm is here. And uh, it worked. You had a quick snap of, ah, you actually see my face and the flame and the arm. And... Yeah, it was pretty big. I think it was a little bit out of control there. So I used the safety word, which I can't repeat now, though, of course. But it's always good to have your stunt coordinator for backup in case something goes out of... Uh, control like it did there, but as you can see, Nick was quick with the fire extinguisher. All that to do was pop out one obscenity, and he was there in a flash. Very good, thank you. Got the shot. Well done. Oh, well done. Let's go to lunch.